And for today's kitchen segment, we are here at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum, and we are here with Chef Eric and Michelle from the World War II Museum, the American Sector Food and Restaurant. And you guys have big news because you just started brunch and you expanded. We did. We've actually been um, expanding for about eight months or so. Uh, the former patio that we had that many of you may have had a cocktail on outside is now this beautiful enclosure. It's got a great um, door that opens up on beautiful days. We can open the entire restaurant up to everybody. Um, we also added brunch on the weekends for our guests. Which is what you guys are cooking. Mm -hmm. So let's get started with showing us what you're making. What are you cooking for us, Eric? Today we're, today we're going to do a blackened tomato with a Louisiana crab cake with a citrus butter sauce. Oh my gosh. And fresh Sounds spinach. Sounds amazing. It is really good. Well, let's go. Let's, let's, so how <laughs> okay. do we do this? We're going to start by blackening a tomato. Okay. Uh, a little bit of Creole spice on both sides of the tomato. Mmm. And has your brunch been pretty popular so far? It has, actually. Oh, it's, awesome. a, it's a really great opportunity for guests to come have a bite to eat before they begin their museum experience. And the weekends are very popular, so we're really excited to be able to offer this to our guests. I bet, absolutely. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> That's okay. So we, start with so we do the tomato. Skillet. Mm. A little Creole spice, clarified butter, a little mm -hmm. oil. Is it supposed to fire like that? Yeah, you're gonna have oh, a little okay, bit of smoke good. to it. Just that a little bit. Uh, whenever that happens in my kitchen, I always kind of have a heart attack. So I just wanted to make sure that was no supposed fire to extinguisher happen. necessary. Okay, okay. Okay. Nice color on each side of this. And just sit it there for about a minute on each side mm. as you get color on it. It actually smells really good. Normally, you know, when you have a flame, it's kind yep. of it doesn't smell that great, but that it's smells delicious. delicious. Yeah. All right. And your end result is going to have nice, even color on each side. Mm. Okay. So what's the next step? We're going to start by sauteing a Louisiana crab cake. It's a mixture of Holy Trinity, which is celery, bell pepper, onion, garlic, thyme, fresh parsley. See, you know I'm not from here, so you explain to me what the Holy Trinity is, and I appreciate that. <laughs> As we get that going. Perfect. The crab cake is uh, bound with a little bit of mayonnaise, breadcrumbs. Yum. And you want to cook that? on a medium fire. And that's with local crab, right? Yes, local crab yes. Louisiana blue crab. Oh, yum. Awesome. You'll cook this on a medium heat and get okay. a nice light golden brown on each side. Okay. And the crab meat's already cooked, so that'll heat it all the way through, and at that point, you'll be ready to serve the dish. Okay. And you can pre-sear these ahead of time and bake them in the oven if you're doing a large group for your family. And is this is one of your pop most popular dishes that you have? Definitely. We serve it for brunch, and then we also serve it on our regular um, all-day menu that we serve during the weekdays. So. Wow, mm -hmm. very cool. So how long does this normally take to cook? This is approximately a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. You okay. see you get a nice light color oh, on it. Oh yeah, the light brown. Uh, we have Gosh, that goes so fast. And in the meantime, we're gonna poach an egg. Uh, we have water, white vinegar, and a little bit of salt uh, in here. So do you do this one-handed too? We do. See, that's when you know you're a professional chef. I can't crack. do that. <laughs> when you can crack the egg one-handed. You want the water at a gentle simmer. Okay. Uh, as you break the egg in there, you have all three of your components going, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the vinegar causes it to congeal together, and it holds it as a finished product. Perfect. So we just wait for that to go. Okay. Wow. Huh. Awesome. So what's your favorite part about having brunch? Well, actually, we uh, have a live uh, musician playing. Really? So we have a pianist. We, um, we They're playing from 11 a.m. to 1 mm -hmm. um, every Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it's a great accompaniment to brunch. And yes. I also really, I have to be honest, I really love the Bloody Marys. Yes, this, which um, is right here, of course, mm -hmm. we brought it. This is the Battle Breakfast Bloody Mary. It is breakfast in a glass. If you don't feel like having breakfast and you need a little hair of the dog, this is gonna fix you before you take your visit to the museum. There are so many things in there. You've got an egg, you've got a piece of bread. Bread, you've got bacon. bacon, okra, wow. you've got your vegetables, you've got your, it's, it's all in there. You guys do not mess around. Do not mess around. <laughs> all right, our egg is almost set up. Okay, so we're all good? We're very close, we're 30 seconds out. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be this a soft poach and Hey, that's fine. No big deal there. So what else do you guys have on your brunch menu? We have a bugle call, which is uh, seven grain bread with mm. peppery arugula, mm -hmm. uh, heirloom grape tomatoes, shaved red onion, avocado, and a lemon zest aioli on top. Perfect. So it's great if you want something that's vegetarian or yes. if you want to make it a little bit heartier, we also offer it with bacon and you can put a fried egg on top of it. Which is always good. Okay, <laughs> so are we, is our egg here ready? This is our finished poached egg. I'm in charge of the forks. So oh, terrific. <laughs> Lay it on there and it's good oh to go. Oh my gosh. So can we try this? Absolutely. Do you, is the best way to do all three 
Are you gonna help me here? I will. I can't just see by myself. Oh my gosh, look at that. There we go. Wow. <laughs> nice work. You guys should have started brunch a long time ago. <laughs> Thank you guys so I'm much. Glad for you doing. like it. Yeah, really, really good. So if you'd like to see more of um, what we've done with this space, you can look on our website, www2 eats. Um, so we've got pictures of our new space on there. There's also our brunch menu, our new hours of operation, all kinds of fun things, and some new events that are coming up as well. Perfect. We'll see you guys back here after the break. <laughs>